So I'll just show you guys what to do. First of all, um, what this question is asking us to do is given the polynomial function, determine all the possible rational zeros, and then state the rational zeros. So actually, with this one, we don't need to find any of them. We just need to state the rational zeros. So remember, all of your rational zeros can be written as p over q, right? Where here's your p, and your leading coefficient is your q. So remember, it actually, it's plus or minus. So therefore, I simply have plus or minus. Now what I'm going to do, I'm sorry, rational zeros are the factors, sorry, are the factors of p over q. It's not just p over q. It's all the factors of p over q. So I can take out all the factors of 6. So if I look at this, I could do 6. Um, so plus or minus 6 comma plus or minus 3 comma plus or minus 2 comma plus or minus 1 over all the factors of 2, plus or minus 2 comma plus or minus 1. P is going to be your constant, and Q will always be your co leading coefficient. So now I just need to simplify this. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start this in descending order. So six plus or minus 6 over 1 is 6. Plus or minus 6 over 2 is 3. Now I don't need to do 3 over 1 again because 6 over 2 gave me 3, right? So now I can just move on to uh, um, 2 over 1. So plus or minus 2, comma, if I did 2 over 2, that gives me 1. And then that means I don't have to do 1 over 1 again, because I know that answer is 1, right? I'm, re I'm, I'm going to get to the fractions. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have done. I, 3 over 2 would have been next, actually. You're right, 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 would have been your next fraction, right? There you go. Then plus or minus 1, then do 1 over 2, plus or minus 1 half. There you go. So that is the set of all possible rational zeros. Now remember, how do we use this, or why are we going to use this? Well, remember, if I said find the zeros, and if it's a rational zero, therefore you know if you have a rational zero, it has to be one of these numbers, right? So I don't ask you to find what the zeros are, but the best state, the thing to do would be to graph this function and then see if one of these rational zeros would be your 0. Then you can apply synthetic division to find all the remaining zeros, if you guys remember that. If you don't have a graphing calculator, then you'd have to apply synthetic division for each one of these to see which one of them would work. OK, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. These are for your possible rational zeros. So these are just possible. We have not shown that any of them are a 0 yet. They're just possible. So if you do have a rational 0, it's going to be one of these. Are you going to show us the real? Um, I don't know. 